I'm Corey Norman. I am a uh, adjunct faculty member here at SMCC. Um, I've been a filmmaker now for almost 10 years. Um, I went through this program uh, here at SMCC. Um, when I left there, I did five years of TV news, and then I've spent about seven years off and on through the Lone Wolf Documentary Group. Well, when I was going to uh, Wyndham High School, uh, I had a teacher there named Jeff Bell who got me into um, doing basic video production. Back then, everything was shot on VHS, and we did a lot of analog, kind of deck-to-deck -deck editing. Uh, but I had a lot of fun with it. I really liked it. Um, and so when I started looking for colleges, I had wanted to stay kind of close to home. And I really liked what SMCC offered at that time. Um, you know, they were a very hands-on program, um, and it was something that I could be creative yet technical and, and have fun kind of at the same time. So that's why I chose that program. I like working for different clients on a regular basis, which is fun. I mean, in this last week, we've had four shoots, and not a single one of them were the same. So shooting a music video is completely different than doing a green screen shoot, which is completely different than doing you know, your typical sit-down interviews. Um, so I like the change of location. I like meeting the new people. I also like going back and forth between shooting and post because they're two totally different animals. So it's really nice to have that kind of variety. Uh, and it's also really nice to have a job that allows you to be creative uh, and to be a little bit artistic uh, in your approach to it. The program here was definitely a big factor uh, in getting my foot in the door with a lot of different organizations. Um, if I hadn't have gone here, I wouldn't have started with ABC, which was kind of my stepping stone to branch off into other areas. Um, I think really the reason I got to where I am is I never turned down a shoot. Um, I'd work on any shoot humanly possible anytime it would come up. And you know, even if I was just slinging cables or you know, helping with set design, there was so much you can learn. Even today, every time I go on a shoot, I still learn something. If I go on a shoot and I don't learn something, I don't consider it to be a good shoot. Um, let me see, don't enjoy. Well, when you're, uh, when you're on the road for a couple weeks at a time without coming home, that's, uh, that's not always a fun thing. Sometimes it's fun, sometimes it's not. Um, same with some of the long hours that come with editing. Um, with my time at Lone Wolf, I did a lot of you know, 90 plus hour work weeks and sometimes a lot of anywhere from 40 to 50 hours of continual editing. And you definitely, by the end of those periods, um, really hate editing and you really just want to go to bed. So I think sometimes um, the situations you put in to meet a deadline um, are the parts that aren't so enjoyable, but you have to kind of take the good with the bad. Coming back to SMC was a little bit of Randy's doing. Um, I've never really seen myself as a teacher, but even when I was going through the program, he always thought that I would be uh, a good instructor. Um, and so while we were doing the Rivals film, I was trying to work with him to bring a lot of interns out into the field just to help them get some experience. Um, and kind of through our discussions, he convinced me to teach an editing class. Um, again, I never really saw myself as a teacher, but after I started teaching that class, I was hooked. Now it's four semesters later, and I've, I've built up to teaching three classes a semester. And I really enjoy it. I like being able to pass the knowledge along. Um, but one of my favorite, favorite parts of teaching is, you know, you get to watch students grow. Um, and it's great when you have a student in your class that just really excels, and then they get to come with you out into the field and start working kind of side by side in a lot of productions. Um, and just really, again, watching them grow and, and kind of, I don't know where I'm going with this. Um, <clears throat> I guess it's just, it's really nice to see them go from just being a student to almost being an equal out in the field and really kind of just pull in their own. So um, I'd say if you want to produce media, you need to start out by um, just watching and learning from everybody around you. I mean, the best teachers out there are going to be your peers. And you definitely you want to get onto any shoot imaginable, even if it's just, you know, if it's a shoot with a classmate or, you know, if you're just going to go even and watch a shoot. Um, you'll learn so much from the other people involved. And with this business, everybody, especially in Maine, um, is very interested in passing on their knowledge and trying to help develop the next generation of filmmakers. So I'd say just learn from everybody around you. You know, when you go on a shoot, just be attentive 
um, you know, be engaged, be enthusiastic, um, and I think you'll go a long, long way.